Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. I'm Tamir Geffen, the CEO of ALM Toolbox. Today I'm going to have a discussion with David Cohen. Hi everyone. David is a product manager of our brand new ALM Vitality product and the upcoming ALM performance tool. So these are the topics we are going to discuss today. First we will talk about the new tool. Then we will show a live demo of the monitoring real clear case, clear quest and Jenkins systems. We will show real systems. Then we will explain the rationale behind this tool, why we build it and what are the unique attributes. Then we will explain how it works. Later we will discuss which components you should monitor on ClearCase, ClearQuest and Jenkins. Then we will discuss if it's necessary to monitor legacy systems or projects. Then we will discuss how ALM Vitality help you to apply the best practices of DevOps. And lastly, we have time for questions and answers. Let's begin. We will start with a two minutes introduction to ALM Vitality and then we will continue to a live demo. David, would you like to tell us a little bit about ALM Vitality? Yes, Tommy, thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm very excited today to introduce to you the latest addition to the ALM Toolbox product family, the ALM Vitality. ALM Vitality is a monitoring tool which allows you to understand the health status of your ClearCase, ClearQuest and Jenkins environments and alerts you via the dashboard and by email when your environment is not running properly. What we did with the ALM Vitality is we took our services department experience. Our people in the service departments department have more than 10 years of exper experience working with ClearCase, ClearQuest and Jenkins environments and used it to create ALM Vitality. We investigated things like which issues are the most disruptive to the customer, which are the most time consuming, and which are harder to detect, and etc. And the product of this comprehensive research is the ALM Vitality. David, can you tell us about the challenges we faced? Uh, the challenges of the design, the challenge of the design was mapping the critical components and IT resources for each one of the environments and deciding on the optimal test to check the status of the component. Another challenge we faced was providing the full picture without swamping you with information. The LM Vitality is a tool made for busy people, people that cannot allocate the time to manage the servers and the other application components. This allows the user, in case of a failure, to find the root cause uh, of the failure faster and deal with the core of the problem. David, it sounds quite complex. Can you tell us about the customization options? Yes, sure. So we aimed for a fully configurable tool so you can customize it to your environment's needs. You can decide which tests to run and when to run them. You can define thresholds to ensure warning messages when you are starting to run out of licenses or storage space. You can also configure different email addresses for different servers so that the only the right people will get the notifications and much more. The way we build this tool is as a framework uh, with a very powerful and efficient infrastructure for generating tests and processing the data. This allows us to add more critical monitoring tools and of course more tests as per our customers' needs. Uh, if you wish to try the ALM Vitality, please contact me directly at davido at almtoolbox.com. Yeah, we will share the email later as well. David, thank you. And uh, let's move to a live demo. Are you ready? Yes, sure. Okay, so this is our dashboard. It has two main sections or tabs called Live and Notification. The Live tab is a table view of the status of your ClearCase, ClearQuest and Jenkins servers. Each server type has its own table with its own unique test columns. For example, the ClearCase server has a checkout test and the ClearQuest server has an application health check which is unique to ClearQuest and runs ClearQuest queries. Uh, 
These are the applicative tests, correct? Yes, that's correct. They simulate the system behavior from the perspective of an, of an end user. The rows of each table are the monitored servers, and each column is a test. Every cell displays the status of the last run of the test. We have five different status, statuses. When it's green, that means that the service is running normally. When it's red, it means that the test returned with an error. Yellow indicates a warning. This icon actually indicates that the system has reached one of the warning thresholds the user defined. The blue, uh, the blue icon means that the test is not scheduled to run right now. And gray means that the test did not run yet even one time. The second tab is the notification tab. The system produces a notification when it encounters an error or a warning in one of the tests. You can click on the notification to see the details and the description. In addition, you can configure the system to send an email with the notification to the correct person. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the reasons we decided to develop these tools. I remember that the main request that always repeated itself was how can we get more information about the system and how we can get it in real time. That's right, Amir. And we have also gotten a lot of demand from organizations that simply do not have the time, knowledge, or resources to maintain the environments and deal with the issues. Just like we said before, this is a tool for busy people. Yeah, that's correct. I think the main challenges we saw our customers deal with were the main challenges the challenges were defining what components to monitor, what is the best practice to monitor these components, and uh, even after answering those questions, you still have to find the time to develop and maintain it. Exactly. That is why we decided to gather the demands and issues together with our experience and create a system that monitors your critical components and IT resources and alerts you when a component has stopped functioning. This gives you a key information and helps you find the root cause faster and more efficiently. David, I'm sure our listeners would like to understand how the system works and what the system requirements are. Okay, with pleasure. The, okay, the LM Vitality consists of three main components. The first component is the settings application. The settings application is the configuration tool for the ALM Vitality. That's the one we saw before, yeah? Yes. It allows you to add or delete monitored servers and configure the server's test and their parameters. The second component is the graphical component. This is the graphical uh, dashboard of the system that we saw earlier. The third part is the monitoring service. The monitoring service is the heart of the system. The monitoring service is the component that schedule, run tests, and analyze the results. ALM Vitality can monitor all Linux, Unix, and Windows versions, and it does so in a non-intrusive and secure manner, for example, using SSH protocols. ALM Vitality is installed on a Windows host and can be run on-premise, or you can run it as a cloud service, where we run and manage the system, while it remotely monitors your, service, your servers. Of course, network access to the service is required when implementing the solution this way. Okay, David, can you please explain to us what exactly are we monitoring and why it's important to monitor so much information? Yes, definitely. The tests we are performing for each environment are a mix of IT resources and application testing. This mixture of well-planned tests allows you to learn about a problem faster, troubleshoot it, and pinpoint the failed component much faster than it normally takes. Here are some examples of the test results descriptions. Okay. So let's go over what we're monitoring for clear case servers. The first test is host alive, where we test to see if the monitored server is available via basic network protocol. That means ping. 
The second test is the ALBD service, where we test to make sure that the ClearCase service is up and running. And when this test that when this test fails, you do not need to look for the reason why your ClearCase stopped performing, but you can start investigating why the service failed. The third test is the ClearCase port, where we test to make sure that all needed ports are open and can can be interact with RPC, with RPC calls. When this test fails, you know that any network interaction with ClearCase server will fail. The next one is the VOB checkout. This is an applicative test. It basically tests whether your ClearCase server is doing what it should. We test the checkout command because it's one of the most common commands in the system. Then we move on to the available storage test where we monitor the status of the server's available storage capacity and we let you define thresholds and get a notification before you run out of space. We decided to monitor this parameter because of the importance of preventing scenarios of full disks that lead to VOB corruption. And the last test for clear case is available license where we check the number of available licenses and again we let you define thresholds and get, and get a notification before you run out of licenses. Okay, great. Now let's move on the ClearQuest tests, please. Okay. So again, we start from the host alive, where we check basic network connectivity. Then we move to the ClearQuest web server, checking if the web server is running, that running ClearQuest is responding correctly. Moving on to the ClearQuest web application. This test checks to see whether the web application runs on the web server is responding correctly. In case of a failure, the combination of these two web tests give you a clear picture about the layer in which the failure is. Is it in the web infrastructure or in the application layer? The next test is the database availability test that checks whatever the ClearQuest database is responding. This test is doing much more than just checking if the services are up but actually testing to see if the database is responding correctly. The next one is the application health. Again, this is an applicative test that allows us to know if the application is running correctly and responding as it should. This powerful test combi in combination with the IT and resources test allows you to get updated instantly that ClearQuest is not performing and to understand the root cause of the problem. For example, if the application health test fails and we see that the database availability test failed also, we already have a better idea and understanding as to the root cause of the problem. In the ClearQuest server, we also moni uh, monitor available storage and available licenses just like we do for the ClearCase server. I can say that we noticed that a lot of our customers using ClearCase and ClearQuest are also running Jenkins and we understood that our solution cannot be completed with providing the customer with the ability to monitor Jenkins server as well. Yes, that is correct. So let's see what we got for Jenkins. We start again from the host alive test Moving on to the web server, checking if the web server running the Jenkins app is responding correctly. Uh, then the Jenkins web application that checks to see if the Jenkins web application running on the web server is responding correctly. Again, in this case of, in case of failure, the combination of these two web tests give you a um, clear picture about your problems. I would like to re-emphasize that our framework will allow us to add more tests if customers have some more specific needs. It's important to know that if you have a ClearCast and a ClearQuest or Jenkins environment that you consider to be critical to your organization, it is important you, that you monitor it either by yourself or by using a third-party tool. Okay, David, from time to time we meet organizations in which ClearCast and ClearQuest are legacy environments that only serve all but critical projects, most of them in maintenance mode. Can you please explain how these organizations can benefit from using ALM Vitality? Definitely. After meeting and talking with customers like you mentioned, 
we saw that they have the same challenges regarding monitoring and maintaining their clear case, clear quest environments. Uh, because the system is not in frequent use by programmers, it usually takes a lot of time to even understand that there is a problem. And secondly, when they find out that there is a problem, they usually do not have the time, knowledge, or the people to solve it fast enough, and it only gets harder with time. And the worst thing is that these clear case and clear quest servers are not going anywhere, and the situation is not going to change in the future. It is true that our company's expertise is helping in these scenarios, but we thought how we can help our customers to become better informed and more efficient and to get better control over their clear case and clear request environments. Yes, and furthermore, I have seen organizations using the same server for both legacy and production servers, so using our tool would allow you to give the same level of service for both platforms and actually save time, money, and manpower to your organization. Okay, David, now let's talk about DevOps and see how Airline Vitality helps by promoting the DevOps practices in the organization. Okay, first I would like to explain in two words what is DevOps. Uh, well, in the words of Wikipedia, DevOps is a practice that emphasizes the collaboration and communication of both software developers and IT professionals while automating the process of software delivery. When you use ALM Vitality, you are able to get the better picture of your development environment and by that give, you, give a fast and high quality service, contributing to a better and faster development process. Just think about it. If you have 20 programmers in their organization and each one of them loses 30 minutes of work a day because of clear case, clear quest or Jenkins are slow or worst are down, their organization loses 10 hours of work a day. And again, if you wish to try the ALM Vitality, please contact me directly at davido at almtoolbox.com. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, now uh, we have gathered uh, some, quest, uh, some questions uh, for the, from the attendees uh, who asked us a few questions. So we, we currently have uh, three uh, different questions and we, we are going to answer, to answer them as well. Okay, the first one, David, is um, why should I use ALM Vitality and not one of the other monitoring tools out there that allows us to monitor service and environments? Uh, well, the LM Vitality is tailored specifically to monitor clear case, clear quest and Jenkins environment. When you install one of the other monitoring tools, you still need to decide which components to monitor, define and write all the elements for the monitoring process test, and uh, I, I know that uh, users of these tools told us that uh, it is usually takes about six months to one year just to just to set uh, one of the other tools uh, up and running in the in the internal uh, environment. Exactly, and with the ALM Vitality, we already did all of that work and research for you, and you get the system that starts monitoring and showing status in less than one hour after installation. Yes, and uh, I can say that we actually put all our knowledge into this tool, and you and you just enjoy it. Okay, the second the second question is, David, are you ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Will the ALM Vitality support other tools in the future? Definitely. As we mentioned before, we developed a framework which allows us to expand and adjust the ALM Vitality to monitor other tools. If you have a critical system in your ALM solution that you wish to monitor in the same way we just presented, please contact us via email to vitality at almtoolbox.com or contact me directly at davido at almtoolbox.com and state the name of the system and we will answer if and when it will be done. Okay, thank you, David. And the last question, 
Does the ALM Vitality support performance monitoring tool as well? I love this question. <laughs> we are in the last stages of the, of the development of a new tool that provides smart performance monitoring for both applicative and IT resources. We, we will soon release it. If you would like to evaluate it when it's released, please send us an email and leave your details. Okay, thank you very much, David, and thank you all for joining us. If you have any questions in future, do not hesitate to contact us at vitality at almtoolbox.com. You can see now on screen. To learn more, and you can visit the webpage at our website. It's www.almtoolbox.com slash vitality. I hope you learn new things and enjoyed. Thank you again, and have a nice day. Bye-bye. Goodbye.